Okay, so if you forgot how to work with fractions or if you just have a tough time with fractions, this video is going to be awesome because it's going to make things so much easier for you when it comes to dealing with basic fraction problems. So I want to be basically teaching everything you need to know to handle how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. And I hope to do this in under nine minutes. But uh, before I get started, I just want to tell you very briefly who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for years. And if you need great comprehensive math instruction, check me out at tcmathacademy.com. You can find uh, that link and links to my main courses uh, for middle school, high school, and even college. You'll find links to all this stuff in the description. So let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot to cover in a short period of time. Okay, so I'm basically going to teach you two skills. And if you can under understand these two skills, you will know how to multiply, divide, add, and subtract fractions. Now, multiplication and division, effectively, what we're going to be doing here is the same thing. And this is super easy. And we're going to start here because you're going to see just how easy it is to multiply and divide again. And it's going to give us confidence. And uh, if we can figure these two things out, we're already 50% there. Uh, we just need to figure out how to add and subtract. Now, adding and subtracting uh, fractions, basically, we do the same thing here. And when uh, people uh, talk about fractions or they think about, oh, they don't like fractions or they struggle with fractions, it's typically for um, adding and subtracting fractions because this is where we have to deal with the LCD sometimes. That's the lowest common denominator. I'm going to show you a way to add and subtract fractions where you do not have to use the LCD. So again, by the time I finish here in a few minutes, you will know exactly how to multiply, divide, add, and subtract. But we're going to kind of break this up in two skill sets. So let's go ahead and start here with multiplying and dividing because we have to understand that first before we get into um, adding and subtracting. Okay, so how do we multiply and divide fractions? Super, super easy. So when you have a fraction... Uh, what we call a proper fraction. There's basically two parts to it. You have this top number that's called the numerator and this bottom number that's called the denominator. So we want to multiply two fractions like this example here, two-fifths times one-third. All we have to do is simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators and we get the answer. So two-fifths times one-third is going to be two times one, which of course is two, over five times three, which of course is 15. And there you go. Uh, we know how to now multiply fractions. It's really no more difficult than that. Okay, so let's talk about dividing fractions. And once we know how to multiply fractions, what we're going to do is change all of our division problems into multiplication. And let me show you how this works right now. Okay, so here is a problem. We have 3 fourths divided by 1 half. Now, we're not going to do this problem. This is a division problem. What we're going to do is we're going to change this problem to multiplication. And now that we already know how to multiply fractions, this is going to be very easy. But how do we do this? Well, there's basically two steps. So we're going to go from division to multiplication. Okay, so again, we're going to change all division problems to multiplication problems. And the only thing that we need to do is flip the fraction to the right of the division sign upside down. So here is the division operator, it's one half, so we're gonna flip it uh, upside down. That's called the reciprocal, you don't really need to know that, but we have one half, we're just gonna put the two over here and the one down here, so now we have two over one. All right, so at this point, uh, we have a multiplication uh, problem, and you know, we already know how to multiply, just cover that. So we have three-fourths times two over one. We're going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators, so uh, three times two, of course, is six over four times one is four. Now this is the correct answer, but the only problem with this uh, right here, it's not fully simplified or reduced. So I'm gonna show you that real fast. So uh, let's uh, look at this right here. We have three times two over four times one. Let's think of four as two times two. So when you have common factors and when you multiply numbers together, the numbers that you're multiplying are call called factors. When you have the same factor in the numerator and denominator, you can cross cancel one for one. So here we're just left with a three and a two uh, in 
the uh, numerator and denominator. Or you could just re uh, divide 6 by 2. We get 3 and 4 uh, by 2. We get uh, 2. So our answer is 3 halves. But you can kind of see that process right there. So now you know how to multiply, divide, and even reduce fractions. Okay, so now let's move on to our second skill set, which is adding and subtracting. And uh, here, uh, we're basically going to be doing the same thing. Okay, so when you have an addition problem or a subtraction problem in fractions, you are doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, stick to um, addition. But again, if this was a subtraction problem, again, uh, same um, steps apply. All right, let's take a problem like this that pretty much everyone should know how to do. One half plus one half is what? Well, it's one. Now, the reason why it's one is because when we're adding or subtracting fractions and the denominators are the same, well, then we can just kind of um, add the fractions straight away. And what we do is we add the numerators. So if we have the same denominators, in this case, we have the same denominator, it's two. We're simply just going to add the numerator. So the numerators here is one and one. So that'd be one plus one. 1 plus 1 is 2, and again, our denominator is 2. We're going to write that over our denominator. So we have 2 over 2, which, of course, is 1. That's why 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Now, I show you that just as an illustration that when denominators are the same, you just add the numerator. So if we have 1 fifth plus 2 fifths, you look uh, to the denominators first. Okay. So if these are the same, you're like, oh, all I have to do is simply add the numerator, so if one fifth plus two fifths is going to be um, three fifths, right? I'm going to add one and two. These are our uh, numerators. So one plus two is three. So three over five, and that is it. Okay, so pretty much that's how you add and subtract fractions where the denominators are not the same. Of course, I need to show you how to add and subtract fractions where the denominators are not the same. We'll get to that in just one quick second, but let's talk about uh, something called mixed number fractions. So if I have three and one half plus two and one half, one thing you need to understand about a fraction like three and one half, this is three plus one half, okay? Or two and one half is the same as the number two plus one half. So uh, let me just kind of write this right here. So three and one half, you can think of this as three plus one half. And then, of course, 2 and 1 half, you can think of that as 2 plus 1 half. So what, um, when we have a problem with mixed number fractions, you can kind of take these little fraction parts right here and kind of group them together. So we could take our whole numbers, 3 and 2. Let me kind of write this right here. 3 plus 2 plus 1 half plus 1 half. So we can kind of approach a problem this way. There's different ways you can approach or solve uh, fraction uh, problems, but I just want to kind of show you here that these parts, these little uh, fractions associated in or that are part of a mixed number fraction, you can kind of add these together right here. So one half plus one half is one, and three and two is five, so five plus one is six. So again, you know, uh, when you have fraction problems, there's different type of fractions. You have mixed number fractions and um, improper fractions, but let's talk about real quick how to change a mixed number fraction into what we call an improper fraction, okay? And an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So if I have the fraction 3 1 half and I want to convert it or write it um, as a fraction, as an improper fraction, all we do is take the denominator 2, multiply by this number, which of course is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, and then we're going to add this number which is one. So two times three is six, six plus one is seven. So this is seven over two. Okay, so we um, have our denominator right here as the denominator of our improper fraction. And the reason I bring that up is you want to convert or write your mixed number fractions as improper fractions, especially when you have different denominators. So for example, if this was two and one sevenths, Okay, we would want to change these fractions as improper fractions like so. 
And then we're going to go ahead and get to the grand finale. How do you add and subtract fractions without the LCD or finding the lowest common denominator? But before I do this, uh, I want to ask you, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I really do need your, uh, need your support. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can uh, get my latest videos. All right, so let's get back to this prompt because I'm trying to keep this within nine minutes. If I run a little bit over, you know, I apologize, but uh, let's keep focused on what we're doing here. Okay, so here we have three-fourths plus two-fifths, and this is uh, the type of prompt that generally students don't like to deal with. And this is the easy version of it because they're thinking, I think I have to find the LCD, the lowest common denominator, and that is correct because the denominators are not common. They're not the same. So we cannot add these fractions. Again, if this was a subtraction prompt, it's the same process, okay? So, uh, you know, if you're thinking, I wanna know how to subtract, well, it's exactly uh, the same steps as adding. We just subtract the numerators, not add the numerators. Okay, so how do we deal with this type of problem? Well, let's just quickly, very, very uh, quickly, uh, talk about what is the LCD. Well, in this particular problem, the lowest common denominator is 20. Now, you really do need to know how to find the LCD and if you are like, you know, uh, wanting more information beyond this little tutorial, check out my additional videos on my YouTube channel. Also, you probably want to check out my Math Foundations course. It's a little mini course. I cover all basic mathematics. You'll find it in the description below, but I will teach you everything you need to know and more about fractions, LCD, etc. But in this particular case, the LCD is 20. So most of you out there are taught, well, we have to rewrite both of these fractions such that the denominator is 20, okay? And here, if this fraction is 20 or this denominator is 20 and this 20, we can add uh, these fractions because we have the same denominator. So we uh, to convert or to write uh, these fractions such that they have a denominator of 20, I'm gonna have to multiply this fraction by uh, five, okay? It's denominator by five, so five times four is 20. But then I'm also going to have to multiply the numerator by 5, which is going to be 15. Then over here, I'm going to have to multiply this by 4 to get 20, which means I'm going to have to multiply the numerator by 4. But when we do all that work, we're going to end up with 15 over 20 plus 8 over 20. Now, again, when you have our fractions and the same denominator, all we have to do is add the numerator. So 15 plus 8 is 23, and that's going to be 23 over 20, and we are done. Okay, but this is uh, finding the LCD. Uh, this is, you know, the steps uh, that you would take when you know the LCD. And just finding the LCD is a struggle with a lot of students. So now I'm going to get to the best part of this video. And uh, this is how you add or subtract fractions without even thinking about the LCD. Okay, you need to follow this step right here. I call this the bow tie method, and it goes in this specific order. All right, so uh, you really want to kind of, um, you know, pay attention here because if you uh, get these steps wrong, you're going to get this, uh, you're going to get the process wrong. Okay, so here is our same um, problem, three-fourths plus two-fifths. How do we add these? Well, I'm like, I don't want to deal with the LCD. No problem. Here's what you do. You start with this denominator here. Okay, we're going to multiply across to this number. So five times three is what? Uh, five times three is 15. Okay, then we're going to add, all right, you see um, an addition here because we're adding these fractions, and now we're going to go this way. We're going to kind of crisscross uh, four times two. So we're gonna, now we're switching over to this denominator. It has to be in this order. Four times two is what? That is eight. Okay, so again, we're always going to start here. Five times three, 15, plus four times two is eight. And then all we're going to do to get our denominator is multiply the denominators. Four times five is 20. And if you take a look here, uh, basically this is the same situation as we had when we were finding the LCD. So 15 plus 8 is 23 over 20. It's the same answer, but I didn't have to think about the LCD. I didn't have to rewrite these fractions. Now, we're basically done with this uh, little video. And hopefully, okay, if you understood everything that I talked about here, you have these two primary skills, okay? And the two primary skills, once again, let's just kind of go over here, is the following, okay? So our second skill that we just covered is adding and subtracting fractions. I just gave you a technique to add and subtract fractions without uh, knowing how to find the LCD. You certainly still want to learn 
how to find the LCD. That is important, but uh, you know this won't prevent you from actually doing problems by using this bow tie method. And of course, we talked about uh, talked about how to multiply and divide fractions. Very very easy. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Hopefully, I was somewhere kind of close to nine minutes. And if I'm not, or, you know, if I went over nine minutes, I certainly apologize. But if you got value out of this, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.